Hello everybody and welcome to something old but something new for this channel. This is Bus Driver and it was developed in uh, 2007 by SCS Software. And basically we are driving buses around a fictional American city delivering passengers uh, to their destination and in a timely manner. So we'll uh, go into the play menu here. There are six tiers of routes available to us. Uh, 13 total, each getting progressively longer and harder. Um, as you can tell by the stars, I have already played a little bit of this game uh, before making this video, just so I could get myself reaccustomed to how the buses handle um, in the game. And usually, by default, you use the uh, keyboard to drive the buses. However, this game does actually offer support for the Xbox 360 controller, but I have had to optimise it a little bit in the settings uh, beforehand just to get it working uh, just right. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into the uh, first route. And first of all, we've got a nice little run in the school bus, uh, just about three stops to do on this one. As you can already tell by the by the just looking at the game design wise, it is um, not supposed to be a proper bus simulator. It's just supposed to be a scoring game at the end of the day to see who can get the most points. So it's very uh, quite cartoony aesthetic wise. But when I've, uh, it's a game that I have had uh, many fun hours with uh, when I first purchased this. So I'm just going to slow down for these lights now, uh, as they are quite quick at changing. Buses do have, also, uh, uh, by default, have automatic gearboxes. One of the problems, however, with this border and the, indeed the camera, you can't really see when you come up to the stop marker. You can't really see when the uh, the lights are changing. So that's uh, one of the flaws here uh, with the game. There we are, that's the uh, first route out of the way with. We also pick up bonuses on how well we drive. And there we are, we are at top of the leaderboard there, so... We'll go on to the next route now. And instead of uh, school children, we're just taking uh, people to work on this uh, on this route. So the normal everyday commuter. And we have ourselves uh, an easy access low for single decker with uh, dual doors. So I'll write down it here. As we only uh, one of the other flaws with this game, there is only one viewing angle. Um, 
I do believe they did release a separate version called Bus, uh, a new version of the game called Bus Driver Gold, um, which adds a front, uh, an additional front view. However, that is not available on Steam. The original bus driver is available on uh, Steam at about £5, which is relatively inexpensive. I, however, am running the disc version of the game. Just going to slow down here. We need to make a right turn here. You do obviously uh, lose points for running red lights uh, and changing lanes without uh, using the indicator. You also get penalised for obviously crashing the bus and uh, braking harshly when you have, uh, if you brake too harshly, uh, you can also, uh, whilst you are loaded with passengers, you can also lose points for that as well, uh, which in turn affects their happiness rating as well. You can also uh, make your passengers unhappy by uh, beeping the horn at them when you are loading and unloading at a bus stop. The added side effect of that is it does of course uh, speed up the entry and exit Keyboard is the most precise way, uh, I think, to play the game. Uh, I found that the Xbox controller can be a little bit sensitive, most particularly in the uh, braking department. But I find the, I think I find using the uh, controller a lot more comfortable than using the keyboard and it allows me to have the keyboard off my desk and my microphone a little bit closer. And even though it, I should have actually gone into that outside lane there, uh, as you can see the, uh, the vehicle uh, in front of us just uh, turned in front of us. I think for the most part the AI is generally quite stable. I think that there's one or two occasions where it, do, uh, it will go a bit pear-shaped. I'm going to go to a stop here. It doesn't take very long for these lights to change. It won't be a very long series this, um, I'm probably thinking about doing um, a tier per video, just to break it up a, get, uh, break it up a bit. Trying to be a bit careful and not trying to stray out of lane. And I'm just going to get ready to stop at these lights here.
and uh, I think another uh, I'm pick, I seem to be picking flaws uh, with this game there's, there doesn't seem to be um, any handbrake either so there will be at points where you, where you come to stop at the traffic lights but then you'll find yourself rolling forward or backwards As you can see, we just picked up the perfect smile bonus because we didn't have uh, any uh, occasions where we've been penalised for anything. Obviously, the slower you are driving the bus, the, uh, you, uh, the more control you have of your steering. But even then, I still find it quite stiff. And I'm not really fussed about being on time, I'm not trying to break any records. I think we need to do a left turn here. Yep, we do. And I believe this is our final stop. Go oh, top of the leaderboard again. So we'll move on to the next route now, and this is the airport run. Slightly older single decker here. Just looking at the back end of this uh, vehicle, it kind of reminds me of a Volvo B6. And we're getting into a single lane territory here. Here we are at Debton. And as you've probably noticed that despite being in a fictional American city, many of the bus stops take their names from place names in London.
It's a bit more tricky to stop re uh, stop new buses on this scenario because it's um, uh, the bus stops are in the lay-by effectively. Just season up here now. And hopefully we should get but through both sets of lights. We just got through there but we didn't get our points bonus because the lights uh, weren't showing green. Just curved it there. I'm just going to have to back up into the uh, stop mark here. I'll stop about here. And there we are, we're top of the leaderboard again. So we'll move on to the next one now, uh, bus number 26. Bus driver certainly isn't one of the most uh, demanding games graphics wise so uh, it, it doesn't take very long for anything to load up. Didn't indicate properly there. I think the bus might have uh, just strayed out of lane there a little bit. But we're going to come to a stop here. Tier 1 gives you a, a good idea of um, the uh, types of weather that you'll be encountering uh, throughout the game.
the physics are pretty much a standard affair uh, in this game. You you won't uh, like get your buses uh, stuck in the snow or anything like that. It's uh, certainly not uh, not that type of game. Let's make a left turn here. Here we are at Totteridge. Here we are tooting. We've also just picked up another bonus uh, for happy passengers for a while. So uh, sort of nearly straying out of lane there. I think the game just let us get away with that. Corners are very difficult to uh, negotiate here. They can be quite tight. And so we've just made it in there, which is good. And I believe the bus stop is on our left hand side here. You don't have to worry about getting uh, lost in this game, the arrows uh, will obviously tell you where to go. And here we are at Terminal South. So we picked up one penalty there because uh, we strayed out alone at the uh, first bit of it, just coming out of the bus station at the start. But despite that, we are top of the leaderboard again, so that's good. Oh, we've uh, got two more routes to do now. So our next vehicle is a coach. We're taking people from the airport to a uh, ski resort in this one, I think. The uh, Vista Glacier, or Glacier, whichever way your uh, pronunciations take you.
As you can also probably tell, the, uh, the buses certainly don't like the hills in this game. Let's wait until we can rejoin, I think. Oh no, we've uh, got three lanes there, so I thought I had to merge. So. My inner car driver uh, creeping in there. Generally, especially within the uh, city, uh, the AI will be tend to drive in the outs uh, on the outside lane. On the uh, motorways like this, the uh, cars use all the lanes available, with the exception of a hard shoulder, which can be blocked off, like uh, this uh, broken down bus, for instance. Uh. Just about make out the uh, the snow spewing out from the uh, wheel arches, which is a nice touch. This will be the uh, last route that I'll do for the video. Bus 83. So we're back on the uh, blue low floor single decker again for this one. And we're on a similar route to the school bus, uh, which we did on the uh, in the first scenario. We're in the uh, same sort of area, I think. be making the right turn at this junction. The AI can be quite generous uh, in this game as well. So when you indicate to change lanes, they will either hold back or wait for you if you 
pulling out from a bus stop. It's going to ease off uh, the gas here as we are approaching another junction with a set of traffic lights. I think basically every junction in this world has a set of traffic lights. This is Windmill Bridge and our next stop is at Thornton Heath. Certainly a far cry from, uh, so uh, uh, from South London. Next stop is at Barking Side. I don't think we have to indicate here. So we are just effectively going straight across the road. And our final stop is uh, Ewell Central. Or well, Ewell Central, I think it's uh, pronounced. And there we are, we are t uh, finishing off this video being top of the leaderboard again. So I'm going to end the video now. So thank you very much for watching this and I hope you have enjoyed it. I've certainly enjoyed uh, making this video and uh, sh uh, sharing uh, with you another game that I've enjoyed playing uh, over the past few years. And I shall, I think the next video will be the second tier of Bus Driver. 
So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you soon.